<clears throat> Afternoon friends, I hope you have had a very blessed day today. Today is July the 28th of 2018 and I've got <laughs> I've got a car behind me of uh, four people they are acting crazy I mean one girl done jumped out of a car anyway just having fun I suppose on a Saturday night so much for that anyway what I would like to share with you is the blood moon that is just uh, came and appeared over Israel and you know it is very amazing how people can hear something and what they hear is totally different than what they think they hear you know there are those who listen to my video who believe that they heard me say that the rapture was going to happen because of the blood moon. No. What I said was, the Bible says that before the great and terrible day of the Lord, the sun will be darkened and the moon shall turn to blood before the great and terrible day of the Lord. The great and terrible day of the Lord as I said in a previous video, what does that mean? What is the great and terrible day of the Lord? You know, is it the rapture? Is it the tribulation period? Is it the 1,000 year millennium? And, you know, some people stated that they did not believe that the Bible said that it's the great and terrible day of the Lord that our God is a loving God and there's not going to be a such thing as a terrible day of the Lord friend Jesus said Jesus said that it is a uh, how did he put it he said that uh, it was a did he say the word terrible thing to fall into the hands of the living God? He said, don't fear those who can only kill the body and do nothing else. You should fear God who after the body's destroyed, he has the power to cast you into the lake of fire. You see, our God is a consuming fire. Our God is holy. Our God is righteous. Sin cannot dwell in the presence of our God. Many think that our God is just like another man. But what people do not realize is our God he is God and you know let just let me give you a, a perfect example you take the power of the Sun the Sun you cannot get in the presence of the Sun without being burned up the closer you get to the sun the hotter it is to you and you can get so close to the sun that just the very power of the sun will just burn you to a crisp you cannot live being too close to the sun you take the power uh, or, or 
radiation. You get too close to radiation, it will burn you up. And these are just physical elements. Friend, our God is, <laughs> He is so much more powerful than the heat of the sun. He is so much more powerful, praise God, I feel His presence. So much more powerful than radiation or an atomic bomb. You cannot stand in the presence of our God. It will kill you. That is the reason why you must be given a spiritual body to be able to dwell in the presence of our God. The Holy Spirit of God is on this earth. And I can tell you, if He turned up His power, this world would be consumed with the presence of our God. You know, there's coming a day, brothers and sisters. There's coming a day when this world will experience the power of our God on this earth. You know, Jesus had to empty himself and come to this earth as a man. You know, two examples in the Gospels. They took Jesus out to the edge of the cliff to throw him off the cliff simply because he said that the scriptures were fulfilled in their ears that very day referring to the high priest. The anointed one. The Messiah. He turned and just walked right through them. They couldn't do nothing with that. Even when the night that he was betrayed, that garrison of uh, uh, our army of Roman soldiers, whatever they were, with all their spears and their swords and their shields and the bucklers, come out there and then, of course, Judas Iscariot kissed him. And they asked if he was Jesus, the Nazarene or whatever. He said, I am he. <laughs> they all fell down backwards. The power of God, just by him saying, I am he. <laughs> I mean, they just fell down backwards from the power of his word. People don't realize that this whole world is upheld by the power of His Word. Our God is God. This whole world is held together by the power of His Word. Your body is held together by some type of a I don't know what it's called. Uh, anyway, if I thought of a minute, I could I could remember it. But anyway, your body is held together by a a. It ain't a cell. It's uh. Anyway, you can look it up. I'm I'm not a biologist, but the shape of that that holds your body together is in the shape of a cross. The shape of a cross. 
And that, that's what holds your body together. It keeps your body from falling apart. And then this telescope Pops done got somebody. But the telescope has peered into the deepest, darkest regions of the universe and they've discovered a blue cross up there. So just as far as that you could see with a telescope is a cross. And one of the most smallest parts of your body is a cross. God's letting you know it is the cross. It is the cross. It is the power of God unto salvation. That's why the devils hate the cross so much. That's why man who is not born again hate the cross so much. I gotta stop and get gas. So I gotta finish this real quick. It is the cross, my friend. The cross. It is the cross of the Lord Jesus Christ that the devil lost his power over mankind. The blood of Jesus Christ that was shed on the cross of Calvary is the power unto salvation to the Jew first and then to the Gentile. The devil lost his power when the blood of Jesus Christ was shed on the cross. That's why I love that song. There's power, power, wonder-working power in the blood of the Lamb. And that other song, At the Cross, At the Cross, where I first saw the light. Let me tell you about this blood moon. Do not be surprised if within the next 30 days we see major war. I'm talking about major war in Israel. Just watch. You can scoff, you can mock. You can deny all you want. But when you least expect it, the great sounding of God's trumpet is going to sound. And the dead in Christ are going to rise first. Then we which are alive and remain are going to be caught up together in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And we shall forever be with the Lord. Forget not this one thing. Jesus said that the generation would not pass away till all these things are fulfilled. We are that generation. For Israel, Israel became a nation in 1948. We are 70 years this is Israel's 70th anniversary. We are one generation in. And the Bible says, if by reason of strength, it may be 80, but it will be full of labor, toil, sorrow. In other words, from 70 to 80, you're going to have the tribulation period. So within the next 10 years... We're going to have the tribulation period. We're going to have the return of Christ. We're going to have the rapture of the church. I'm 56. By the time I'm 66, I will be in the presence of Jesus Christ. So however you are old today, within 10 years, we're going to be in the very presence of our Lord, our Savior, and our God. Share this video. God bless you, my friend.